Are you feeling overwhelmed by strongholds in your life? Do you feel like you're trapped and can't break free? It's time to turn to God's Word for victory. The Bible contains powerful verses that can help you overcome any stronghold, whether it's fear, addiction, or negative thoughts. God's Word has the answer. When you feel weak, remember Philippians 4.13, I can achieve anything with the strength I receive from Christ. With God on your side, you are never alone in your battles. If you're struggling with temptation, meditate on 1 Corinthians 10.13. You're not facing any temptation that others haven't faced either. God is reliable and won't allow you to be tempted more than you can handle. Don't let the enemy hold you captive any longer. Arm yourself with the truth of God's word and watch as your strongholds crumble before you. Keep watching till the end. A powerful message is coming that can change Facing your life. Facing our struggles can often feel like battling giants with mere pebbles. It's as though we're stuck in a maze with no clear way out. But what if I told you you have a secret weapon, a powerful guide that can navigate you through the darkest paths? This secret weapon is God's Word, a beacon of hope in our journey to overcome what I like to call strongholds. What are strongholds? Imagine them as barriers or walls that block us from living freely and fully. They could be fears, doubts, addictions, or any negative thought patterns that keep us from the life we're meant to live. Overcoming these barriers might seem daunting, but with God's word, we have a tool stronger than any earthly weapon. Step 1. Recognize your stronghold. The first step to victory is acknowledging the battle. Understand what specific stronghold is holding you back. Is it fear? Anger? Insecurity? Identifying it means you're halfway to defeating it. This step involves looking within and admitting that a fight must be fought. Step 2. Equip yourself with God's word once you know your enemy. It's time to arm yourself, and there's no better arsenal than the Bible. God's Word is filled with promises, stories of triumph, and wisdom to guide us. It's not just reading. It's about making these words a part of who we are. Find verses that speak to your situation and keep them close to your heart. Step 3. Replace lies with truths. Strongholds often have power because we believe lies about ourselves or our situations. The key to breaking free is to counter these lies with the truth in God's word. If you're battling with feeling unworthy, remind yourself of Psalms 130, 914, which says you are fearfully and wonderfully made. Replace the lies with truth and watch the walls start to crumble. Step four, speak life. Words have power more than we often realize. Once you've equipped yourself with the truth, start speaking it out loud. There's something profoundly impactful about hearing. God's promises in our voices, it reinforces the truth in our minds and spirits. When you declare things like, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, Philippians 4, 13, you're not just saying words, but wielding a weapon. Step five, walk in faith, not by sight. Overcoming strongholds requires faith and believing in what we cannot see. It means trusting God's word, even when our current reality contradicts it. Faith is not just a feeling. It's a choice to trust God and move forward, believing that he is with us every step of the way. Step six, stay connected. You're not meant to fight this battle alone. It's vital to stay connected with God through prayer and connect with others who can encourage and support you. Share your struggles with trusted family and friends. Join a support group or find a community of faith. There's strength in numbers and having others to walk with, you can make all the difference. Step seven. Practice gratitude. 
Finally, gratitude can shift our focus from what we're battling to the big and small victories we've already won. It's about recognizing God's hand in our life, the progress we've made, and the blessings we have. Start or end your day by listing things you're thankful for. It's a powerful way to keep our hearts and minds focused on the good. Why? God's Word. You might wonder why God's Word is so effective in overcoming strongholds. It's because it's alive, active, and sharper than any two-edged sword. Hebrews 4.12 It can reach deep into our hearts, discern our thoughts and intentions, and bring light to areas we didn't even realize were in darkness. God's Word is not just a collection of nice sayings. The truth sets us free. It has the power to transform, renew our minds, and change how we see ourselves and our situations. When we align our lives with His Word, we're not just following a set of rules. We're walking in freedom. Let's anchor the steps with three powerful Bible verses that act as pillars of strength, guidance, and encouragement to reinforce the journey of overcoming strongholds with God's Word. These verses remind us of the truth of God's promises, the power of His Word, and the faith we must hold on to. 1. 2 Corinthians 10.4 The weapons we use to fight are not like the world's weapons. Instead, they have a powerful, godly strength to break down strongholds. This verse underscores the first and second steps, recognizing your stronghold and equipping yourself with God's Word. It highlights that our spiritual battles require spiritual battles, require spiritual weapons, which God provides through His Word. 2. Philippians 4.13 I can do all this through Him who gives me strength. This verse aligns with the fourth step, speaking life into our circumstances. It's a declaration of our ability to overcome any challenge, not by our power, but through the strength we receive from Christ. It reminds us that we can face and overcome our strongholds with God. 3. Hebrews 11.1 1. Now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. This verse complements the fifth step, walking in faith, not by sight. It defines faith as confidence in God's promises and His Word, even when our current situations may not reflect the victory we're fighting for. It encourages us to keep moving forward, trusting in God's words. These verses serve as a foundation to build upon as you overcome strongholds. They remind us that victory is possible and promised through the power of God's word and our faith in Him. Let these verses guide and encourage you as you face your battles, knowing that all things are possible with God. Join me in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I come to you today feeling overwhelmed but hopeful because I know you're here with me. You know the challenges I face, the strongholds that seem too big, too strong, too deep rooted for me to overcome on my own. But with you, I believe anything is possible. I've heard it said. And your word confirms that you give us divine power to demolish these strongholds. Lord, help me truly grasp this truth. Open my heart to understand the power that lies in your word, the same power that spoke the universe into existence, the same power that raised Jesus from the dead. Let this power work in me to break down the walls of fear, doubt, anger, or anything else that holds me back. Lord, I confess that sometimes I struggle to see the way out. Sometimes the lies in my head shout louder than your truth. I need your help to silence them. Remind me that I am fearfully and wonderfully made, more than a conqueror through him who loves me. Help me to replace every lie with the truth of your word. When I feel unworthy, remind me that I am yours. When I feel weak, Remind me that I can do everything through Christ who strengthens me. I want to speak life, Lord. Let my words reflect your truth, not just in my moments of prayer, 
but in every moment of my day. Help me to declare your promises over my life and the lives of those around me. Let your words be the words that come out of my mouth, words that build up and do not tear down, words that heal and do not hurt. I ask for the faith to walk in your promises, to trust you even when I can't see the way forward. Help me to remember that faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. Grow my faith, Lord. Help me trust in your goodness and plan for my life, even when the path seems uncertain. Keep me connected to you, Lord. Strengthen my prayer life, deepen my study of your word, and surround me with believers who will encourage and walk with me. I know the journey is not meant to be walked alone, and I thank you for the community of faith you've placed me in. Help us to support one another to bear one another's burdens and to grow together in love and faith. And Lord, during the battle, help me maintain a grateful heart. Teach me to see your hand in every circumstance, to acknowledge every blessing, no matter how small. Let gratitude fill my heart and guide my thoughts, turning my focus from the challenges I face to the goodness you pour into my life daily. Father, I thank you for your presence with me. I thank you for the armor you provide, the sword of the Spirit, which is your word. Help me to wield it well, to stand firm in the truth, and to move forward in the strength you provide. As I close this prayer, I hold on to your promise that where two or three gather in your name, you are with them. Though it's just me speaking these words, I know I'm not alone. You're here and your spirit intercedes for me with groans that words cannot express. Thank you, Father, for hearing my prayer, for loving me unconditionally, and for the victory that is already mine through Jesus Christ. Amen. This prayer is a heartfelt appeal to God. It acknowledges our struggles and the strongholds in our lives while recognizing our power, hope, and victory through faith in Him. It reminds us that through God's word, prayer, and community, we can overcome any obstacle, fortified by His strength and guided by His love. Overcoming strongholds is not a one-time event. It's a journey. There will be days when it feels like you're taking two steps forward and one step back. But remember, progress is progress, no matter how small. With each step, you're moving closer to freedom, to the life God has for you. God's Word is your map, guide, and sword in this journey. The light shines in the darkness, showing us the way out. So, arm yourself with truth, speak life, walk in faith, stay connected, and practice gratitude. As we wrap up our journey together, let's take a moment to reflect on the powerful steps we've walked through. We've uncovered the secret weapon that can help us tear down the walls between us and our fullest potential. God's Word, it's more than just a book. It's a lifeline, a guide, and a source of strength. We started by recognizing our strongholds, those barriers that seem too tall and too strong. We've learned that the first step to overcoming them is to see them for what they are. But we didn't stop there. We armed ourselves with the most potent tool in our arsenal, God's Word. With scriptures as our sword, we've learned to cut through the lies and replace them with truth. Speaking of truth, we've discovered the power of speaking life into our situations. Our words aren't just sounds but powerful declarations that can shape our reality. By choosing to speak God's promises over our lives, we're not just hoping for change, but activating it. Faith has been our compass, guiding us through the unseen and reminding us that our steps are still secure, even when the path isn't clear. We're walking not by what we see, but by what we believe. And what do we believe? that with God all things are possible. We've also discussed the importance of connection, staying plugged into God and the community He's given us. 
we're not meant to fight our battles alone. Together, we stand stronger, encouraged, and supported. And let's remember the role of gratitude. It's like the sunshine after the rain, reminding us of the beauty and blessings that surround us. Even in the midst of our battles, gratitude shifts our focus, helps us see the victories, and reminds us of God's faithfulness. So, here we are at the end of our journey, but really, it's just the beginning. The steps we've explored are not a one-time walk, but a daily journey. Every day, we can arm ourselves with truth, speak life, walk by faith, connect with God and others, and live with gratitude. Remember, no stronghold is too big for God, with Him by our side, armed with His word, supported by our community, and walking in faith and gratitude. We're not just survivors, but conquerors. Let's step forward confidently, knowing the best is yet to come. With every step, every word, and every prayer, we're moving closer to the freedom and fullness of life that God has promised us. Keep going, keep trusting, and watch as the walls come tumbling down. Thanks for watching this video. If this message has blessed you, write Amen in the comments section, subscribe, like, and share it with others to uplift them in the Lord. May God's love, grace, and peace always be with you. Share your thoughts and experiences. Please, let us know if you have any prayer requests so we can bring them to God. Don't go anywhere. Watch more videos for spiritual guidance and inspiration.